Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the headlight trim or the plastic trim that's around the headlights on this 1996 Ford F-150, pretty much the same as any 92 to 96 Ford pickup. Tools you'll need are a 10 millimeter and 11 millimeter sockets with a ratchet, as well as a Phillips screwdriver. And this is useful, obviously, if that trim's been broken, or if you want to upgrade from the painted or gray trim to the chrome trim. Okay, so we're going to start out working um, underneath the hood. We've got the hood open, and we're between where the battery is and the back of the headlight and parking light. If you're looking to change the whole assembly, you'll need a uh, long socket 10 millimeter okay and right down in here you put that socket in to a 10 millimeter nut and undo that okay and then the same thing over on this side okay. right in here and then a 10 millimeter nut right there and remove those two. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through some footage here of taking those two nuts out of the back side. Uh, obviously, you can't really film it that well. Um, you can reach down in there with your wrench, or your socket and ratchet. Um, if you want, taking the battery out is an option. It lets you get down in there a little easier. Um, but just remove those two nuts and then go from there. Remove the two Phillips screws at the top of the headlight uh, trim panel. Okay, I'm just uh, removing the rest of the way one of the nuts on the back side, and as I remove that, I just pull the whole assembly from the lights away. Okay, pull that out, and then there's a a socket right here, turn that counterclockwise. Okay, and one down here, turn that one counterclockwise as well. All right, so here I'm just showing you a quick problem you may or may not run into. Uh, one of the studs um, from the parking light, when I went to remove the nut, the stud actually twisted out of the parking light. Um, so what I'm doing is just using a pair of vice grip or locking pliers, hooking them onto the stud, and then using my uh, socket and ratchet to remove the nut and remove that out of there so I can put in a new one. And the side parking or side marker light is held in with two 11 millimeter bolts. I'll remove those, I'll put the little brace aside, and remove the uh, side marker light from the trim. And now there are three Phillips screws, uh, one on the side and then two um, that are underneath. If you're looking at the trim the way it sits on the truck, uh, remove those three screws. Here's our original um, bezel. You can see it's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, I am going to reinstall this. I'm just doing this video to kind of show you. One Auto, we sell a black plastic version. Uh, you can finish this black plastic. Um, if you have one of these XL models, you can finish the plastic um, with some uh, charcoal or argent silver paint to match that. Uh, also, you would refinish it if you had a whitening model um, or a uh, model that had the trim that's the color of the truck. And then as well as that black, we also sell the chrome trim model. And again, it's exactly the same. So if you wanted to, you could just upgrade your truck to a chrome grill with chrome headlight um, surrounds and everything. And everything goes together all the same. It's all the same. It's going to go right in. Okay, Just put it into the inside of your bezel first, lock it in here first, and then you have to kind of pull, I'm just kind of using my thumb, and pulling this right around and on there, make sure it all goes in 
There are little teeth on the light that just kind of lock into the bezel. Okay. And everything lines up pretty well. And I'll fast forward here. What I like to do, I put um, each screw in first, just tighten them up a little bit, and then once you have them all in and and uh, just make sure they're all in and going in correctly, then tighten them up uh, afterwards. So you start them in first and then tighten them up once you're sure that they're all in, they're in straight, and they're not uh, misthreading or anything like that. Just make sure you put it right in here. Okay. I'm going to make sure you press it and slide it in. And we're going to start this top one first. Okay, and then remember there's a little brace that goes on here. And then you start the bottom bolt in. Okay, to sum up, just remember to put that brace back on and put the bolt back on to the side marker light. And tighten them up. And I'm just going to continue the kind of fast forward here. Uh, put the um, assembly close to your harnesses and put the side markers in. You can do the main parking light afterwards. Just reach in behind, um, put the bolts on, tighten them up, and then make sure you plug in um, that side signal or the front signal light. Okay, and finish up by uh, reinstalling the two screws on the top of the trim. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.